What's up, you beautiful collectors and action figure fans? It's the one and only Optibotomus coming to with another video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Titans Return Deluxe Class Flame Out and Twin Twist. The other little flip changer finally comes to us. And it's cool to have both Twin Twist and Top Spin together again. For the package, you've got a very standard you know, Transformers Generation sort of package with you know that cool image of Flame Out kind of detaching from Twin Twist in the back. you got the Transformers text with the Generation logo. Of course, you got the open clamshell that fully showcases the figure. On the back of the package, you got other figures that are currently available in this line, as well as images of both you know, Flame Out in his robot, as well as his head mode and then of course twin twist in his robot in kind of tank driller mode and it says with the decepticons rising the autobots power up with titan master partners to stop them flame out gives twin twist the ability to target and overload the conversion cog of other bots accelerating their conversion process out of control and triggering a mode switching meltdown which is kind of strange and then obviously you can see that he can you know ride around in him and stuff kind of cool but uh, for the packaging on this guy that's about it so without further ado let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is all right, guys, so here we have Twin Twist open up and out of his packaging. And much like all Titans Return figures, he does come with his nice collector card. You can see you got a full-size image of what was on the back of the card of the packaging. You got the Titans Return thing right there, Twin Twist. On the back, you got the uh, tech specs for Twin Twist and Flame Out and how, in terms of strength, speed, intelligence, and fire blast, you can see that Twin Twist goes up to a max of an 8. And then with Flame Out, it extends out, much like all the actual Titans Return figures. And then for the figure himself, uh, as you can see, I have him in his little driller tank mode, which is really nice. Now, obviously, because this utilizes a lot of the same engineering and several mold pieces that you know, Top Spin did, it's going to have a similar transformation, obviously. But the changes to it really are very nice and really do nicely capture kind of how Twin Twist and Top Spin looked. I think I call them like a flip changer. I think the actual name is Jump Changer on them. The G1 toys that had like a little spring that you push a button or something and they would be like this and then they basically stand up and be transformed. I unfortunately don't, I don't think I ever had those. I wouldn't mind getting them. But they do a nice job here of replicating how it looks. Now, like I said, there's a lot of same elements, but there's a lot of also different molded uh, bits on here. As you can see, instead of the wings, he now has a little tank treads on the side. Obviously, the change here in the front with the little drill bit. You got some changes here for the little uh, small section right there. Uh, looking at the feet, the feet have been redone, but kind of like the thigh area and such are different. You come around here to the back and you can see that the top spin here has like little thrusters here in the back, whereas twin twist. It still kind of has them, but they're in this little more rectangular shape and everything. Obviously, they both come with their weapons. Uh, the instructions show you kind of tabbing them in there like that. I, I don't know. It's kind of ugly keeping them on there on the side, honestly. Uh, you got little holes up here. I guess you could put them there as well. And then I'm trying to see really if there's any other tabs that you can lock this into. Not, not really, but uh, getting these off and setting these over to the side. Uh, the weapons are basically the exact same. I'm trying to see in terms of the coloring. On them, not really that much different with them other than like the actual post. So, same nice silver paint on them, but you can see that the posts here on a Twin Twist have a blue color to it, whereas Top Spins has just a white plastic. So, I better not get those two mixed up. But I really like the way that these both turned out. Really very nice in a very different kind of look. I mean, obviously, now he's a little tank. This guy flies around and he's like a little support craft for yeah, Twin Twist. I, I think it's absolutely wonderful. Now, taking a look at Flame Out get this up you can see that he does still have a little cockpit you still have to kind of put his arms out there i don't know honestly why that is but you got to get the arms out to be able to bring the cockpit down that was very similar to actually top spins i don't remember the names uh th there's too many of these names uh, for me to remember but yeah you do have top spins little dude in here uh, now the faces have been remolded but the bodies are exactly the same uh, obviously a different color let me zoom in here but the the colors obviously are different but the bodies are molded the exact same so nothing really changes here but when you flip them and change my flip change yeah, i get it see haha <laughs> you can see that the actual heads are different which is perfect because that's the way that they were you got a nice little visor right here for uh, top spin twin twist just has like the regular eyes absolutely gorgeous head sculpt on it though but then again you come to the side and because the arms and everything there are the same the sides and everything are basically going to be the exact same as well but real great facial sculpts on these nonetheless 
and then yeah to transform him you just rotate that around and you sit him right there and just kind of has him chill but uh, overall like i said really very nice i dig it you got the little wheels here on the bottom of the wheels here on the little tank treads themselves and such so very cool now transformation i'm gonna go through it it is the exact same so uh, i'm not gonna focus too much on it but uh people like seeing the transformation so i'm gonna kind of show it so pull this out extend that down do to do, do rotate the little feet around like so collapse this in make sure that that's fully extended like so rotate here pull these little bits just kind of get those out of the way and then pull these arm sections out and then rotate let's see where we going? did i not do that right no I'll, I'll unhinge that rotate this around bring this piece up like that lift that up and then fold this down lock that into place make sure that this actually do i want to have that up there yeah something like that like that come around here fold this little panel out rotate or spin that piece out fold out the little hand rotate that down do that on this side as well fold that out fold that out collapse that back down fold these little pieces all the way back and around and then position these arms a little bit better come around here to flame out transform the head and hit on bam oh wait no that didn't work very well at all <laughs> i tried to be smooth with it guys and i failed miserably so that, that doesn't like going in there very straight i'm having a hard time with that there we go so there you go uh, hit on there i'll just redo it on then you can take these little knee bits fold those forward but when you're done there you have twin twist in his robot mode and in my opinion here again is a perfect representation of what hasbro can really do yes a lot of this figure is reused but it works perfectly for the character of twin twist and of course top spin i mean the the originals were very much the same as well they utilized a lot of the same parts obviously and it is the same thing with this so they really do nicely can homage that original sort of thing but update it and paint it differently enough that it really does look like two different characters I mean, obviously, there are parts that are similar, but that homage factor just works out perfectly in this. In terms of the robot mode here, the only real major differences that you're going to notice are going to be these little shoulder bits. Well, I guess I should, I mean, looking here, um, even the top shoulder section right here is completely different uh, looking at the body bodies look the same torso I'm, i should say the waist area looks the same hips legs all basically the same obviously you have a different head and different uh, sort of shoulder sections you come around here to the back and you do get some differences here with like the drill and the little kind of i don't even know what you would call these little skid plate things but uh, the color though just, it's great how it really does create a different look even though that the robot mode really doesn't change that much it is great now obviously like uh, get him out of the way you know you can still have him hold his guns and everything like that if you really wanted to uh, you can also take these and tab these together and you can create one big giant gun uh, i don't particularly like going like this because i think that looks a little bit ugly being upside down i wish you could go like that and you can go like that but then it's on a weird kind of slant and it's all sorts of weird but uh, you can if you wanted to use this as a little kind of flying weapon for that uh, flame on i probably should have shown that before but you can still use that but now for his articulation uh the head rotates you get a little bit of up and down uh, it is a little bit loose do i have it all the way down i think i have it all the way down but it, there is a little 
bobbleheadiness to it. It's not terribly bad, but that's something that's fairly common with a lot of these because you're relying on the ball joint for the actual Titan Master, and that's a little bit wobbly. Uh, you can see that he does have a ball joint here at the shoulder. Nice range of motion as part of the transformation. You have this other hinge right there, so you can go crazy with it if you want to. You can rotate at the upper part of the bicep. You got two joints here at the elbow for a nice deep curl, which is always terrific. Come down here. He does rotate at the waist. He also does have a ball joint at the hips, so you can move that all over the place like so. He can rotate at the thigh, and he can bend at the knee. I'm going to make a song out of it. I guess you could kind of say that he's got a little bit of foot pivot, but you got to move that back, and then you can flex that. But really, it's just part of the transformation that that's actually there. So all the same articulation that a Top Spin had, obviously. Uh, I really like this guy. Uh, I mean, both of them turned out absolutely terrific. And, I mean, I know some people complain about the whole repaint thing. And uh, sometimes it's okay that in a case like this where the characters were basically the exact same but just had some slightly remolded parts and mostly were repaints. So it's not something that bothers me. But I, I do get it when you, like, repaint, you know, figures into other characters that never really shared the same mold. So, I, I mean, this one is one that definitely i think works some other ones do get a little bit kind of lazy and of course you know you have the same kind of i can put whatever head that i want on it so pulling this off and i'm going to take brawn because why not put brawn on there and that, that's not even yeah see for some reason the tabbing thing is not very good or it's too stiff so it makes the little bitty head rotate so there you go you can you can do that. You can put bronze head on it. I don't know why you want. I'm just being silly now. So getting that over there, setting that there, you take that off so that you can transform it. I can show you this a little bit right here. You just bring this around and how do you, know, you just sit him on there? You got a little peg hole, although it doesn't really seem to work very well. Let me move this up. So you got this little kind of triangular triangle thing, triangular triangle thing, and you can sit him there and he can just kind of chillax while he's sitting there. So now we're going to transform him back again. Same transformation. So not a lot really changes with uh, a lot of this. So I'm not going to focus too terribly much on it. Flip that. Spin you, spin me right round, baby, right round. Yeah, terrible singing. Don't ever sing again, Optobotamus. Pull these out. Bring that in. Kind of get that out of the way. And then you can collapse these down and in and then hinge this whole section up you got a little tab section right there and then up here that you just bring everything up and kind of lock everything into place so do that right there as well open that fold this in hinge this down get that out of the way hinge that down i love how that shoulder or forearm transforms too that's so wicked awesome bring that up lock that into place come around here open these little flaps do that there and then you kind of get that out of the way it makes it a little bit easier if you do that rotate the little feet down and then did i rotate the waist no i didn't rotate the waist around and then hinge this up it kind of accordions on a couple different joints underneath there so you bring that all the way up and then you tab this together you do a lot of dabbing i said tabbing not dabbing is dabbing cool anymore? Do you guys dab still? I don't know why I'm mentioning it. Yeah, let's see. Come on. There we go. Come on. Squeeze. Squeeze yourself in there. Shift that up. You can then bring these down. Bring that down. And, oh, well, bring that just like so. And then when you're done, there you have Twin Twist back in his drilling mode. Overall, though, really fun toy. Top Spin really did set the bar for it, and it has a really cool transformation, as well as a really cool look. And Twin Twist just takes that even further. I think Hasbro has done a great job, especially recently, with repainting figures to really match with the different characters that they need them to. As I said, obviously Top Spin and Twin Twist are going to be almost the same, but with the changes to the paint and the subtle changes to the molding, you really do create a very unique and fun toy all on its own here with Twin Twist. Vehicle mode wise obviously evokes that look very nicely and so too does the robot mode. 
In my opinion, this is a home run. You combine it with Top Spin and you basically got a Grand Slam. These are two wonderful characters that Hasbro has recreated in terms of toy form very nicely. So all that being said, if Twin Twist here is a figure that you'd like to add to your collection, he is in various retail locations right now. So if you're looking for him, good luck and happy hunting. Or as always, there's Big Bad Toy Store. So all you have to do for that is click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to BBTS where you can check out availability on this guy, as well as the rest of the wide range of Transformers Titans Return figures. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotomus. Don't forget that if you like this video, to please hit that thumbs up button. It goes a long way towards helping me out, and I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. That way you'll get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video, and you'll never miss out on a future review of mine. Or hey, if you're already subscribed, do me a real quick favor and click on that little bell right below this video, and double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. And as always, until next time, till all are one.